And I've been preaching to people on this show that, you know, Peck Axie's not dead. And I talk about it all the time that I haven't sold a single horse. I've only kept breeding. I've doubled down. I've added more horses. When this drops, I add more because the races keep going. The game doesn't stop. There are still scholars actively working in the economy and playing the game and vice versa. There is still a demand within the economy for the horses. And I've been telling you that the mobile app is right around the corner. Mobile app interface here looks very solid. The mobile app interface here looks very, very solid. As you see here, very simple. Um, I'm going to pause it right here so you can check uh, your VIS here, your locked VIS, which is your VIS uh, in the middle of earning period. So there's claimable periods every two weeks. So this would be your VIS balance. This would be your locked VIS balance. And then you see here the PGX balance. It shows your account, your wallet address. You can hit the marketplace. You can hit the rental system, you can hit the breeding, and you can hit the garage where you can basically see your stable of horses. And then obviously you can click play. You can check your currency list from a from like an overview standpoint, change this like the settings from the language, the music, all that good stuff. And then of course it sends you right into action and you'll be 3D racing right there on your device. They say it will first release on Android and then it will eventually be released on iOS. Uh, so definitely take a look uh, at this update when it does come around because this just provides ease of use, right? Uh, so right now you kind of you have to be on a PC to play for like for the most part, and it's just the the ease of use whenever you're actually going to be able to use your cell phone and download an app and run your races right there connected to an email address that you link up with your Pagaxi account through your wallet. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant system, and the races. I would honestly say that the races will increase because people can be mobile and actually race real time, right? It doesn't take effort on their part to run their races. They just have to click race. So I actually think that the mobile app coming through, I definitely think that this will actually bring more users uh, actually to the platform and more races, like more races per day. Did we just say mainstream adopted? No, I said it would bring it closer to mainstream adoption. Ease of use ease of use. So mainstream adoption, when you're looking at things, when you tell someone to go open up a MetaMask on the Polygon network, find the RPC, send uh, Matic to your wallet from an exchange of your choice and make sure that you send it to the right address. Don't lose your crypto. People are like, yeah, you know, I'm good. That's the point. People are like, I'm good. So once they can integrate it into a mobile app, that's the point. The mainstream adoption and the ease of use go right together because the easier it is, the more people are going to flood into the space. You, so, you try to tell someone how to open up a wallet on a certain RPC or on a certain network that isn't in crypto, that only buys stuff on Coinbase. They literally think you're like, uh, you're the picture of the guy that has like the, the crime board in front of you, like the pins uh, on different pictures and you just look like a crazy person. Uh, trying to explain this to a normal person. So that's what I mean. When more of these play-to-earn games that are leading the space like Pegaxi come to the masses in the form of apps like iOS apps and Android apps, for example, I do think that that's positive. Uh, and I do think that that's going to just provide an easier access point for these games.